Well, I don't know about you, but I really am beginning to feel a bit stir crazy. I said to Liz the other day, I'm becoming a bit cranky. Well, maybe just a bit more cranky than normal, but I'm certainly missing getting out and about. One of the things I love about living in London is that we've got so many places, wonderful places that we can visit on a normal day. You just get on the train up to Victoria and either walk from there or get on a bus or on the tube. And within an hour, you can be almost anywhere right across London. One of the places that Esther and I, my daughter Esther, visited last year was St Paul's Cathedral. And I revisited it with Liz uh, in January. That cathedral stands as a great symbol of resurrection. It's actually got an old gravestone. Uh, in relief with a phoenix and just one word resurgum i will arise it's a vivid reminder to us and perhaps you've seen those pictures of st paul's during the the blitz when the bombs went all around but it withstood the fire uh, storm of the uh, luftwaffe it would arise it arose after it was burnt in 1666 the old wooden one replaced by christopher wren's great dome in st paul's cathedral there is actually an effigy of john dunn he was the dean of st paul's in the early 1600s and he was a great poet and he wrote a poem that i want to share So with that picture of St Paul's resurgum, resurrection in our minds, here's John Donne's sonnet number 10, Death Be Not Proud. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so, for those thou thinkst that thou dost o'erthrow, die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me from rest and sleep which but thy pictures be much pleasure then from thee much more must throw and soonest our best men with thee do go rest of their bones and souls delivery thou art slave to fate chance kings and desperate men and thus with poison war and sickness dwell and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke why swells thou then one short sleep past we wake eternally and death shall be no more death thou shalt die